best friends. So if you were paying $17,000 per year for school, you'd probably want it to be fun. So how would you feel if they banned having best friends? I'm not even joking, that's exactly what this private school in the UK did, because apparently people picking a favorite friend was making others feel upset and they just considered it unfair. So yeah, instead of talking to the kids about sharing or being kind, they just banned having best friends altogether and told the students to have lots of good friends instead. I mean, to be fair, it's not an official policy, but that doesn't mean people are happy about it, as the parents and even some psychologists are saying it's a really, really bad idea. And well today, best buds are banned in some London schools. Instead, children are being encouraged to play in large groups. Groups, teachers say, the idea behind all of this is to protect kids from fallouts with that one close friend. But psychologists say this is a bad idea because kids need to learn how relationships work and how to handle the pain of a failed friendship. Others say the practice of banning best friends robs students of their childhood and is actually damaging. Now, we know you have something to say about this, so tell us, do you side with the teachers or critics who say best friends are beneficial? And our guest today is Karen Molzak Fry. I don't know about you, but I'm still best friends with my childhood best friend. Yeah, I have some best friends from childhood, mm -hmm. and you learn from the experience. I think that's when, you know, who's ever making up these ideas, get a friend, you yeah. know. Number nine, hugging. Now getting suspended at school isn't a new thing, and it's true that sometimes that kind of punishment makes sense, but these two kids got suspended for the weirdest reason. Basically, a 14-year-old boy and his friend got suspended just for hugging, because apparently public displays of affection were banned at the school. Allegedly, everything from kissing to hand-holding meant a day out of school, and even an innocent hug was banned for being inappropriate. Now it sounds really crazy, but apparently every school in the district has the same policy, so it's more common than you might think. No hugs allowed, and I'm not joking. Yeah, we're serious. Yes. Zero tolerance. Two middle Zero. school students, one boy, one girl, suspended tonight for showing a little love. And the boy's mom is furious over this. Fox 35's Valerie Boy in Palm Bay, where she talked with the boy's mother and with the school district. Suck him up a little bit and give him a great big hug. A hug can brighten your day. It's so popular, there's even been a hug campaign around the world. But when 14-year-old Nicholas Martinez hugged a friend at Southwest Middle School, his mom says he got suspended. I thought that was the most bizarre thing I've ever heard. I mean, we're a cultural family, it's, it's what we do. Nancy Crescente tells us both her son and a 14-year-old girl received in-school suspension. She says she wasn't notified until afterwards. They said this is how they do it across the board. It is what it is, and that was that. Number eight, walking cane. So it makes sense that bringing weapons to school should break the rules. But what about if something you need is considered so dangerous you can't use it anymore? To kind of give you the backstory about this situation, at a school in the UK, a blind girl was told she couldn't bring her walking stick into school because it was a health and safety risk for the other students. Now that seems crazy because it would be way more of a health and safety risk for the girl to walk around without anything to help her see, but the school said her keeping it was just way too dangerous. I mean, honestly, I just don't know how a school could practically ban a girl from being able to walk, but thankfully she's at a different school now, which hopefully is a little bit more understanding. Her teacher was there waiting for me, and um, she said to me, I'm really sorry, Christy, but um, Lily Grace, she handed me Lily Grace's cane, I should add, uh, and she said to me, I'm really sorry, Christy, but um, Lily Grace is no longer allowed to bring this cane into school. Um, she was really apologetic about it, I would add, and I was like, oh, quite shocked, okay, why? Um, and she said, um, uh, Gary, her mobility officer, had come in and said it was a risk of health and safety. So I asked to whom, uh, and she then said the other children. So I came home, um, rang the school and spoke to our head, and to, just to ascertain where this had come from, um, she confirmed that Gary had considered it a health and safety risk and she could no longer bring it into school. Number seven, acronyms. Now I understand banning swear words or inappropriate language, but what about banning slang altogether? It seems kind of, well, impossible, but a school in the US told their kids not to use any acronyms like LOL or LMFAO or even FML in their yearbooks and said if they did, they would have them taken away. Now obviously the kids weren't happy and neither were the parents, and most of them even told their kids to just ignore the ban. But to be fair though, the school did listen because after the complaints they decided the kids could use all the text speak they wanted. I mean, honestly, this one is just so dumb. Like, how could they ban using the word LOL? Like, it's just so common at this point. I'm an acronym for laugh out loud, but some Milton parents are not laughing about an elementary school's attempt to ban the phrase and other slang from student yearbooks. Channel 2's Mike Pachetic is live in Milton to tell us why school officials say this was a big misunderstanding. Mike. 
John, we learned about this controversy after a parent I know posted something on her Facebook page. Those posts elicited a lot of angry responses from parents. So we started asking questions. Those parents started asking questions. And ironically, today the school had a change of heart. LOL is not offensive. It means laugh out loud. <laughs> what else would it mean? Number six, fidget spinners. At this point, it's kind of common knowledge that fidget spinners are basically everywhere. I mean, if you've been on the internet in the past few months, you'll know that there's no getting away from them. With that said, not everyone is such a big fan because schools in lots of different countries have had to ban them altogether. Basically, they were allowed in the beginning to help kids with ADHD and autism focus, but as soon as every student got one, it started doing the exact opposite. Like, instead of helping kids concentrate, spinners were actually distracting people and now a lot of schools in most countries have them banned. With that said, let me know in the comment section below if fidget spinners are banned in your school or not. I'd really love to hear your thoughts on that. Spinners might help more kids and parents become more accepting of children with issues like ADHD, at least until the spinning stops. Even Cooper, who just got his fidget spinner, knows that day is coming. Yeah, it's the same thing with Pokemon games, is because every year they make a new one, and every time a new one comes out, everyone just forgets about the last one. There have been some school districts around the country that have banned fidget spinners. We've heard of individual schools in our area that have banned them, but so far, spokesmen for the Baltimore County and Anne Arundel County Public School System say so far they haven't had enough problems to issue any kind of district-wide directive. But Number five, red clothing. Now, uniforms cause problems at a lot of schools, but it's not usually for the reasons this school had to deal with. So basically, this school in Scotland voted to change their uniform from red to blue because apparently the red color was causing the kids' heart rates and breathing to go up. Like honestly, it sounds crazy, but the teachers thought that changing their uniform to a calmer color would make the students calm down, and that red was making them way too energetic. I mean, I really don't know how I feel about this. Like, I guess maybe it could work, but the fact that they outright ban the alternate uniform is kind of weird in my opinion. Number four, hair color. So lots of schools ban crazy hair colors like blue or green, but it's gotta hurt when teachers say your normal hair is quote unquote too unnatural to be allowed. Basically, one kid in an English school was told to dye her hair another color because the ginger hair she was born with was a bit too extreme for their liking. Like honestly, in my opinion, it's pretty horrible, especially since her hair won best hairstyle at prom, so clearly the other students don't have a problem with it. Like normally, if ginger people get bullied, it's by a few awful students, so seeing the teachers get involved as well is pretty messed up. I really hope a few teachers got fired because seriously, that's unacceptable. Number three, the dictionary. So schools have been banning books they think are unsuitable for literally hundreds of years, but I bet when you think of inappropriate books, this one isn't on your list. This school actually banned the dictionary just because of one definition they thought was too graphic for students. Basically, the dictionary had the definition for oral sex and the school thought that wasn't something the kids should be learning about. So uh, yeah, they literally just completely banned the book from being allowed to read. In my opinion though, banning a dictionary if your school probably isn't the smartest thing, but uh, yeah, it happened. Number two, superhero lunch boxes. So superheroes are everywhere, and part of why they're so popular is that most parents think they're pretty good role models for their kids. I mean, just about every child has a favorite superhero and even have superhero lunch boxes to show that off. But if it was up to this school, that wouldn't be allowed. So to give you guys some context, basically a girl had her Wonder Woman lunchbox ban because it violated the quote unquote dress code with teachers saying that because Wonder Woman used fighting to solve problems, she was a violent image and wasn't allowed. Honestly, how is just banning stuff going to solve anything? Like, all it's going to do is make people upset, and then they're just going to want it even more, so it just doesn't make any sense. Number 1. Tag If for some reason you didn't have a childhood, then you won't know that Tag is literally the most classic school game of all time. Like, it was even around before school was something everyone had access to. Now, banning it seems completely crazy, but to be honest, what happened at this school isn't that unusual. Apparently, the school banned the game because it was getting a bit too violent, and the kids were getting pushed over and getting hurt really badly all the time. Honestly, it's a shame, especially since they didn't just ban tag, they also banned any other games with physical contact. That means no tag, no touch football, and just about every other playground game you could play. Good grief, our kids need some unstructured playtime. It's a game almost everyone has played, but if you go to public school on Mercer Island, find somewhere else to play tag. I totally survived tag. <laughs> I know, I even survived Red Rover, believe it or not. <laughs> I played tag. And you're here. You survived. I survived. The signs outside school encourage kids to join league sports teams, but parents tell us playing tag on the playground is no longer allowed during recess. In this day and age of childhood obesity, there's a need for more activity. And 
Kids should be free to have spontaneous play on the playground at recess. It's important for their learning. This mom has two kids in Mercer Island Public Schools. She created this Facebook page to help spread the word to other parents about the ban. And in 24 hours, hundreds of moms and dads joined to voice their concerns, mainly that the district didn't ask parents what they thought first. This decision needs to be reevaluated. 